I have a few questions, if I may, Aragorn. Shh. Here in Bree, there is no Aragorn. Only Strider the Ranger. I don't understand why you hide your name. Surely it is a name to be proud of. The Dark Lord in Mordor would not be pleased to know that Isildur's heir still lives. The time is not right for Aragorn, son of Arathorn, to stand revealed to the world. For now, I am simply Strider. Yes, Strider it is. But what will you do now? I will continue the search for the Hobbit I spoke of. I've already scoured the road between here and the Shire, but found no trace of him. I fear he may have left the road, perhaps to escape pursuit. My hope now is that he will make his way here to Bree, the only safe haven for many miles. But if he does not appear soon, I will take to the road again in search of him. Should the enemy at Fornos join in the hunt, well, you understand just how grim our chances will become. I need you to prevent that. Go to Fornost. Take the fight to them. We will do all we can. Farewell. Bree is a pleasant enough place, but the people here mistrust my kind. Something tells me you're not in the market for a rake or shovel. army. We might even now be under the gaze of unfriendly eyes. Well, we came to provide a distraction for Aragorn, and what better way to do that than walking in the front door? Let's be about it.
ruins are not sound. We must find a way out of this. These goblins are small, but deadly all the same.
What creature could be making those cries? I thank you, friends. Without your timely arrival, my death would have been slow, but certain. No need for thanks. We are happy to cheat the goblins of their sport. 
But who are you? I am called Belaram. My home is in the Misty Mountains, and I serve Gwaihir, Lord of Eagles. Who is it I have to thank for my rescue? I am Eridan, one of the Dúnedain of the North, and my companions are Andriel and Farin. Then I am indebted to you, Eridan of the Dúnedain, and to your friends. How did the goblins manage to capture you? I was careless, and the goblins were well prepared. They used war machines to fire bolts that exploded around me. I was stunned and fell from the sky. When I came to my senses, I was bound and helpless, even as you found me. Did you see any sign of the one who leads this force? I saw a tall man, heavily armored. The goblins obeyed his commands. Who he is, I cannot say, but he had an aura of menace, like one tainted by the shadow. Agenda, it must be. You know this man? He is a servant of the Dark Lord. We must find him and destroy him if we are able. I will assist you, but it will be perilous. The enemy has positioned war machines upon the inner wall. They limit my ability to fly freely. If we could reach the top of the wall, we might be able to destroy the machines. Beyond those doors, you will find a passage and stairs leading up to the wall. The machines are certain to be heavily guarded. We have little chance of surprising the goblins with but one way to approach. I will take to the air and draw their fire. If we are fortunate, that will allow you to gain the top of the wall unobserved. Very well. Let's go. Time to call 
Don't get loose. The wall is clear. Well done. I am free to fly unhindered. But there are others fighting in the city. They may need our help. Could it be Elrond's sons? I cannot say. But they move with stealth, and they leave a trail of slain enemies in their wake. That sounds like Eladan and Elro here on both accounts. They are likely heading for the Citadel, just as we are. Then let's push on. Maybe we'll meet up with them. I will shadow your movements from above. In open ground, I can strike against our foes. Call on me when the need is great. this gate.
gonna troll that power. That's my weight. Someone's coming. Besting a troll in combat? That is no small feat, friends. It would appear that we are on the same side. Perhaps we could be of assistance to each other. Allow us to offer a hand. Andriel, is that you? Well met, my friends. We were told we might find you here. I am truly glad to see you. Allow me to introduce my companions, Eridan of the Dunedain and Farin of Erebor. I present to you Eladan and Elrohir, the sons of Elrond Hathelven. It is a pleasure to make the acquaintance of such skilled and courageous warriors. Was it the three of you, then, who freed the Great Eagle? Yes. Belaram is his name. That was well done. But what brings you to Fornost? I am here by Aragorn's command. Farron and Andrael have volunteered to aid me. But why would Aragorn send you to Fornost? Has he learned of the goblin force gathered here? This is far more than a simple gathering of goblins. We were with the Rangers at Sarn Ford when we were attacked by Black Riders out of Mordor. That is grim news. But it does not explain why Aragorn would send you here. Aragorn is on a mission of vital importance and cannot afford interference from the enemies here at Fornost. And we know this force to be under the command of a man called Agandar. He is in league with the Black Riders. I begin to understand. Aragorn wishes you to distract Agandar. Yes, that is our mission. But now that we have joined forces, we can do more than distract him. Let us cut the head from this Serpent of Sauron. Agreed. But first, we must find him. He is certain to be in the Citadel at the heart of the city. We must attempt to make our way there. No easy task amid these crumbling ruins, and a host of orcs and goblins will seek to bar our way. If we are separated, press on toward the Citadel. There we will regroup for our final attack. Very well. Let us begin. Follow us!
stay close to us. They have a mounted crossbow. Take cover. We will take care of the machine. and pathways. We will search this way while you three try another route. We'll meet at the Citadel, if not before. And that mountain crossbow! I see something over there. This should prove useful.
This is troubling. is open. The gate closed behind us. We're trapped. There's a lever up there, but I don't see a way to reach it. They found us again. Here they come. Ah! We find us one. Yet more of 
them. There's a lever here. The way forward is clear.
There's the Citadel, just up ahead. We're not there yet. Stay close. Over there, a mounted crossbow. Agendower must be within, then that is where we must go. The way is barred by a powerful magic ward. Can you break the spell? Perhaps, but it will take time and concentration. You'd best get started. We will guard you while you work. been removed. Come quickly! The doors are open! Here we must separate for a time, my friends, for I cannot follow you within those narrow halls. Will you depart for your home, Belaram? No, lady. It would be faithless of me to say farewell while friends' lives yet hang in the balance. I will await your return. It may be that I can prevent reinforcements from following you into the tower. We'd best hurry. 
The elves are getting ahead of us. May fortune favor you all. We've reached the Citadel. I'd say we've been a pretty good distraction. Tread Stay with us! Over here! What is happening out there? Invaders. How many? Not many, but they freed the eagle. Fools. Now our presence here will be revealed. Is this the best your rabble can do? They must be great warriors. Bloody-handed elves. Or some of those filthy tarts. I don't care. Find them and kill them. Call out your guards. Don't let them escape. Call my guard and be quick about it! Kill the intruders! Hold on, we'll help you! No, we must not allow Agendauer time to escape. Go on! We will deal with his guards. The big one is Thazor, a chieftain of the orcs of Mount Graham. Chieftain, huh? Good. I'm tired of dealing with black.
You should have fled Middle-earth with the rest of your cowardly kin, while you still had the chance. We flee from nothing, least of all you, Lackey of Sauron. <laughs> Fools! I am the right hand of Sauron. I will see your precious Rivendell burning, and your mongrel father hauled before me in chains. You will do nothing. Your plots end here. My work is only just beginning. Do you think you two alone can hope to stop me? They are not alone. Don't look for your guards. They won't be coming. Fornos means nothing. You haven't won anything here. He's escaping! We cannot hope to follow him now. But I can! Sorcery of Sauron! This is no natural storm! I can no longer see him. It is no use. He has escaped us for now. Yes, but you cannot be blamed. It was bold of you to go after him alone. Indeed, though perhaps it was not the wisest course. If only we could have finished him. There's no telling what evil he may yet do. But what now? Where do we go from here? For my part, I would gladly join in the hunt for Agandar. Yet, I have my duty to consider. I must return home to inform Lord Gwaihir of all I have learned here. Your duty to your people must always come first. I'm glad we met, Belaram, And I hope we will meet again one day. As do I, Aradan of the Dunedain. You and your comrades saved my life. That is something I will not forget. If I can ever be of service to you, I will. Farewell wherever you fare, Belaram. Till your Aerie receives you at your journey's end. My thanks! Commend me to Elrond, your father, and farewell. As for us... I believe we also have a duty to inform our allies of all we have learned. Then we three should return to the ranger camp at Sanford. Halbrod will be anxious for any news we can bring. Aye. The Shire could still be in danger. We might be needed there. Should you find Halbrod has no pressing need of your services, I would urge you to make your way to Imladris. We may have need of your strength and resourcefulness before long. We will keep that in mind. Farewell for now. I have received word through the Sons of Elrond and the Wandering Companies telling of your valor at Fornost. You are to be commended for your skill and daring. Have you heard anything of Aragorn? He was desperately searching for a certain hobbit when we parted at Bree. All I know is that Aragorn is rumored to have left Bree in the company of four hobbits of the Shire. I can only assume one of them is the hobbit he was seeking, and that they are now bound for Rivendell. There is worse news, however. On the night before they departed, the Prancing Pony Inn came under attack by unknown assailants. We had yet to make account of the dead the night you sent us to Aragorn. I had hoped there would be more survivors. Some few are away patrolling the borders of the Shire, for even now we must attend to our duty. But sadly, many of those who were wounded in the attack died within days from some evil ailment. Even those whose wounds seemed minor. Perhaps Solana can tell you more. I am ready for whatever new orders you may have for me. Andriel and Farron have also volunteered their aid. How can we best be of service? Truthfully, I would be happy for the extra hands. But it is clear to me that you three have a greater destiny. You may be needed more urgently elsewhere. So what would you suggest we do? I advise you to make your way to Rivendell. 
Aragorn will be eager to hear news of Agendower, and he may have other tasks for you to perform. For now, the enemy seems to have turned away from the Shire. Elrond's son suggested much the same thing. Very well. If that is your wish, we will depart for Rivendell. Perhaps there is something you can do for me on your way. Gladly. You have but to name it. I sent two of my rangers, Kalarin and Lewin, on patrol along the Brandywine River. They should have returned long before now. I am growing concerned for them. They are both seasoned rangers who have served many years in this region. We can be certain they have not simply lost their way. From which direction would they be returning? They were to follow the Brandywine north as far as the Great East Road, and from there to make their way back by passing through the Barrow Downs. The Downs are just north of our position here. Then we'll make our way north by way of the Barrow Downs. Perhaps we will discover some trace of them as we travel. You have my thanks. I know your skill as a tracker, Aradan. If Lewin and Kalaran made it as far as the Downs, you should be able to pick up their trail. Farewell, and safe travels to you all. Are you hurt? You look well enough to me. If it's healing drafts you need, you can get them from Maradon. I have a dying man on my hands. Young Elrond is dying? But why? What's wrong with him? Wrong? I don't really know. His wound is minor, yet his life is slipping away. I fear he is suffering from the Black Breath. The Black Breath? What is that? It is some power wielded by the Black Riders. The Nine Nazgul. Their victims are stricken senseless, and without aid, they soon die. I've already lost three men to this curse. Eleron is the only victim who yet lives. But there is still hope. What can we do? <sighs> I hardly know. Drawing an arrow, stitching a wound. These things I have done countless times. The Black Breath is something I know only from the old rhymes my teacher taught me. Tell me this rhyme. Maybe there's some clue there. It was years ago. Let me think. I believe it ran something like this. When the black breath blows, and death's shadow grows, and all lights pass, come a Thalus, come a Thalus, life to the dying. That's all I can recall. What is this Athalus the rhyme speaks of? An herb, commonly known as King's Foil. It has little medicinal use, though some find it comforting for headaches and other small complaints. Then there is no harm in trying it with Aleron. Do you have any of this Athalus? No, I have none. You'll have to forgive me for neglecting to lay up a supply. But you see, no one bothered to tell me that the Nine Ring Wraiths would rise up from ancient legends to trouble us here. If I had a Thalus, don't you think I would have used it by now? It must grow wild somewhere. I am willing to search for it. Perhaps you could find some at that. The plant is not native to Middle-earth. It was brought to these shores from lost Numenor, and planted in the lands where our ancestors used to dwell including the Borrow Dance to the north. How will I know a Thalus should I come across it? The plant has many long, smooth leaves, but you might best find it by its scent, a sweet, pungent fragrance. The Borrow Downs hold precious few such plants. My road leads to the Borrow Downs. Should I find a Thalus growing there, I will return with a supply.
know of them, Elf? These tombs were made by the fathers of men in the depths of time. They were sacred to the men of Arnold. They too buried their dead here until their kingdom fell to the Witch King. These hills have an evil reputation in the folklore of the Shire and Bree. But rangers travel here often without incident. Still, I feel a sense of unease. You must stay alert. lead deeper into the downs. Then we should follow them. Lead the way, Eric. Come on, dwarf. 
There are still foes to defeat. That's closer to death than I care for me. I recognize these signs. A ranger has the name Cash here.
one.
enemy beware! my friends. Let's hope we're not too late. The signs are clear. Rangers were once here. They left some useful items.
He lives. Can you hear me, Lewin? Awake. No strength can prevail against this sickness. What good are swords in the face of this plague? What, what, what's in the name of... Eridan? Yes, it's me, my friend. I... have been dreaming. How did you end up in this barrow? I recall we were making good speed through the downs, eager to return to our friends. But a fog began to rise and it became hard to find our way. We began to hear voices calling to us, as if from far off, us underground. And then, the dead were all around us. We, we fought them, but then I felt the presence of something else, something stronger, more evil. I saw a shadowy figure seize hold of Kalaran and he fell senseless. Then it came for me. That is all I remember. But if I was brought living into this tomb, then the same would be true for Kalaran. We need to find him. That's what we intend to do. Are you strong enough to join us? Yes, I think I can keep up with you. Let's go before any more dead things decide to turn up.
still to see his remains desecrated in this manner. But at least now he is at rest. But you, how are you bearing up? First Black Riders, now Barrow Whites. This is more than men should have to contend with. <sighs> but where there is life, there is hope. Thanks for your concern, but I will be all right. I owe it to those who have fallen to go on as best I may. You've been through a terrible ordeal. Perhaps you should come with us to Rivendell. Or we could take you to Bree. It's not far away. No, I, I feel my strength returning. I'll soon be myself again. And then I will bear Kalaran's body away from these tainted tombs. He should be buried with the rest of his brothers who fell at Sarnford. That would be fitting. I hope that he will rest in peace. Farewell, Lewin. Eredan, it is good to see you safe. Eladan and Elro here told us of your actions at Fornost. Such courage and skill brings honor to all the Dunedain. Indeed. It is an honor to welcome one so brave to my home, and your companions as well. I am grateful for what you did at Fornost. If Agandaur's forces had joined in the hunt, there is little chance that I and my charges would have made it here to safety. I'm glad to see you again, Aragorn. You can count on my sword whenever you have need of it. Although I am no wiser as to what this is all about. I think it is time we told our newfound friends what they have gotten themselves into. Gandalf? So you are involved in this as well? Indeed. Wherever there is trouble and strife and the enemy is stirring, there you will find Gandalf the Grey. Well then. Can you explain why the enemy is so eager to get his hands on a poor little hobbit? You have more than earned such an explanation. Tell me, what do you know of Isildur's Bane? Isildur's Bane? That is another name for the Ring of Power. Quite right. The Ring of Power. The One Ring. The Ruling Ring. After lying lost and nearly forgotten for centuries, Sauron's ring has once again been found. Do you mean to say the halfling Aragorn rescued has come into possession of the Dark Lord's ring? Small wonder the Dark Lord sent his deadliest servants to search for it. What will become of the ring now? There is no safe resting place for the ring, not even here in Imladris. It is a danger to all who come near to it. There is only one course left to us. The ring must be destroyed. To do so, the ring will need to be cast into the same fires from which it was forged. Those of Mount Doom, in the land of Mordor. The hobbit, Frodo Baggins, has agreed to take it there. You're not going to send a hobbit off to Mordor alone? No, certainly not. A fellowship will be formed. A fellowship of nine. Nine walkers set against Sauron's nine black riders. Among this fellowship will be representatives of all the free peoples of the world. Elves, dwarves, and men. Aragorn and I will both be going. What can the rest of us do to assist you? The Nazgul and Agandaur are dire threats. We must learn all we can of their movements before the fellowship is to depart. Scouts will be sent out in every direction to scour the lands around Rivendell. Your aid in this would be of great service to our cause. Very well. Where should we start? Agandawa is our chief concern.
I saw no sign of Agendau's presence. Neither did I encounter trolls. That fact alone is troubling. It could be that they are gathering in force somewhere among the moors. If so, it is best we learn of it before they can take us by surprise. We will scout the Edenmoors to see what we can discover. From what I have heard of you, from Aragorn and Elrond's sons, I expected no less. Still, you have had a long road and hard fighting to get this far. Take what time you need to rest and recover before you set out. The Edenmoors are a dangerous place for the unprepared. The hospitality of my house is yours for as long as you wish. Greetings to you, Eridan. I am pleased to welcome you to my home. I had heard your name spoken with praise by Aragorn even before these recent events. You have more than proven the value of his judgment. The Dúnedain are often our guests here in Imladris, but I would be pleased if you would consider this house as your home whenever you may have need of it. But I gather you are here for more than an exchange of pleasantries. Do you have questions for me? I found this scroll at Fornost. I thought it best to bring it to your attention. A wise decision. This is writ in the black speech of Mordor, a language I will not utter here. It is intended to instruct the reader in the use of dark sorceries. We encountered orcs at Fornost who used spells against us. Then it seems this has already been put to use. That is grim news. The Dark Lord is a master of necromancy and other foul sorceries. He has taught these abominations to men in the past, but never, to my knowledge, to orcs. Then it is good that we captured this from the enemy before it could cause further harm. What will become of it? I will destroy this scroll, at the very least. But wait, here I discover more. Listen to what is written herein. Scribed by the hand of Agandaur, disciple of the great lord Sauron, for the empowerment of his servant Wolfren and those others of his faithful who prove worthy. I will speak no more of these blasphemies, but it does say that this scroll is one of seven such works. Who is this Wolfren the scroll speaks of? I know not, but whoever he may be, he is certain to be deep in the sway of the Dark Lord, and very likely a powerful sorcerer in his own right. We must be watchful for any sign of his presence in the days ahead. So six more remain. Perhaps we can capture them as well. That would be a great service to our cause. Should you recover them all, bring them to me, and I will ensure they are destroyed. I will be certain to do so. In the meantime, please accept this in appreciation for bringing this matter to my attention. Perhaps it will be of service to you in your travels. Thank you and farewell for now. Let me see what you have found. Yes. This is indeed Athalus. Now, according to the old law, all I need to do is add these leaves to boiling water. Let Eleron breathe in these fumes. Solana. And Eridan as well. How can this be? I thought you were all slain. But no. That was only the dark voices in my dreams. Yet, it was not all a dream, was it? I'm afraid not. But don't concern yourself with that now. You are safe. Salana has saved you. Mine was the knowledge that Eridan found the herb that saved you, at great risk to his life. Then I owe you my life, friend. Please, let me show my appreciation. My weapons were made in lost Numenor in the distant past. They've been in my family for generations. I want you and your friends to have them now. A noble gift? Thank you. Rest now. 
and recover your strength. Farewell to you both. Hello, you are one of the Duna Dine, are you not? Please allow me to introduce myself. Bilbo Baggins at your service. Eredan, at yours. Always happy to meet one of the Guardians of the North. I've heard about what you and your friends did to help my Frodo and the Dunedain reach Rivendell safely. You'll have to tell me all about it one of these days so I can write it all down properly. Write it down? Are you then a chronicler, Mr. Baggins? A chronicler? Oh, oh, no more of an enthusiastic scribbler, really. History is just one of my interests. Lately, I've been working on poetry, mostly. Say, maybe you could help me with that. I'm writing a poem for Aragorn, and I'm a bit stuck on a line or two. Is that so? Well then, let me hear what you have. Uh, very well, very well. Uh, the verse that's giving me trouble runs like this. Ahem. <clears throat> the light from the west is rekindled. Forth from him Ladris it springs. Renewed is the hope that has dwindled. The light from the west is rekindled. Forth from him Ladris it springs. Renewed is the hope that has dwindled. To challenge the Lord of the Rings. Hmm, hey now, that's not bad. No, maybe I can work with that. You missed your calling, my friend. Perhaps you should put down your weapons and take up a pen. One day, perhaps. But for now, we have more need of warriors than poets. Oh, I'm afraid you're right, but since these old hands are not much use with the sword, I'll just keep on with the pen. Though I'll need some help. Perhaps you could show this to the Lady Arwen. She has her people's gift with words, and this touches her deeply, after all. I will take it to her. Ah, thanks very much. Uh, be sure to give her my compliments, won't you? I will indeed. Farewell now. Well, my friend. It's an honor to make the acquaintance of one of Farin's valiant companions. I'm Glawn, son of Groen, from the Lonely Mountain. And one of Bilbo's companions in the quest to slay the dragon Smaug. It's an honor to meet such a famous dwarf. I'm Eridan of the Dunedain. I heard about that business at Sarn Ford. And they say that three of you brought down an orc chieftain at Fornost. <laughs> I expect I'll be hearing of even greater deeds before long. It does my heart good to see a dwarf, an elf, and a man working together again. <laughs> Reminds me of the old days it does, when the three kindred fought alongside one another in the Battle of the Five Armies. What could have been important enough to bring you all the way from your distant home? I came at the bidding of my lord, King Dane. My son Gimli and a few companions came with me. For all paths grow dangerous, under the spread of the shadow. With the enemy seeking news of Bilbo, Dane thought we should come to Elrond for counsel. I never imagined what I'd learn when we got here, but it may be wise to say no more. Aragorn has told us that Frodo bears the One Ring. Alas, that we should live in such times. Well, Frodo knows what he must do. If I were younger, I'd go with him. But we must each serve where we are most needed even as you must, with such friends as you trust. And where do you think I am needed the most? That's plain as the beard on my face. It's right here, of course. You've uncovered a deadly enemy in this Agandaur. As long as he's free to carry out Sauron's will, he'll gather more orcs, goblins, and trolls to his banner. Rivendell, the Shire, the Breelands, no place will be safe from his wrath. He must be stopped. Sauron's attention will be focused largely on the south. Perhaps if we thwart his plans here, it will distract him. 
That could benefit Frodo and the Fellowship on their quest. That's my thoughts upon the matter, too. Be the stinging fly in the ointment, as it were. <laughs> Only this fly's sting will be deadly, and it's time to be about your business. Goodbye, and good luck to you. Hello. You are Aradan, aren't you? I was hoping I would get a chance to speak with you. And you are Frodo Baggins. Aragorn and Gandalf have told me about you. And your burden. Likewise, they have told me all about you. I wanted to thank you and your friends for all you did to keep us safe on our journey to Rivendell. You are most welcome, Frodo. It is only now that we have learned just how important our task was. I am pleased we were able to help. It seems as if I owe everyone thanks. You, Aragorn, Elrond. Without the help of each of you, I wouldn't be here now. Anyone who travels far in the wild is certain to find peril. These are dangerous times. I've learned that only too well. I had hoped the danger would end once I reached Rivendell, but it seems as if it is just beginning. I hope I can find the courage to face the road ahead. Take heart. You will have Aragorn and Gandalf with you. No one could ask for better companions on a dangerous journey. Yes, I can't think of a better pair to have with me in a pinch than Gandalf and Strider. Without them, I would feel as if I was wandering alone in the dark. I feel there is more to you than meets the eye, my friend. I trust that you will not fail us. Go with the goodwill of all who remain behind. I thought it rare to find one dwarf so far from home, yet here is another. If I may say, there's something about you that reminds me of my companion Farin. Gimli, son of Glowen, at your service. Your eyes serve you well, Ranger. Farin is indeed a kinsman of mine and a most valiant dwarf. And if I may say, your own fame has gone before you. You fought well at Fornost, and I hear much praise of your exploits. Most impressive. Though, of course, you had Farin's help. <laughs> I must concede the usefulness of a dwarf in battle. He wields his weapon to good effect, as long as he stays clear of my knees. Useful? I dare say you'll find him more than useful. Why, he's a hero of the Battle of the Five Armies. Men, elves, and dwarves against orcs and goblins. And many an orc has felt the caress of his axe. Varen said no word of other kin coming to join him. What brings you here to Emladris? Aye, it's a long march from the halls of Erebor, but grim news goes on swift feet. It was for Bilbo's sake we came, with a warning that the servants of Sauron wished to find him and his ring. Thrice a black rider came to the front gate of Erebor, demanding news of Bilbo, and threatens to return once more. Ere that should happen, King Dane sent my father, Glowen, to seek the advice of Elrond. You've heard the results of the Council? I see you have. I have sworn to protect Frodo upon his quest, an oath I will fulfill though all the orcs of Middle-earth stand in my way. When do you leave for the South? Not soon enough for my liking. Elrond is sending scouts many leagues in all directions, and we will wait for their news. They search for signs of any Nazgul that may have survived the flooding of the river. And there are other threats besides, as you well know. My heart forebodes that the North is not safe. Elrond has asked us to scout the Edenmoors. But what is it that worries you about the North? I like not what I've heard of this Agandar you drove from Fornost. He could yet cause grief untold. There are rumors of gatherings of orcs, goblins, and other deadly foes growing in strength. When the Dark Lord strikes, there will be more than one land that feels his wrath. I fear for the Shire and Rivendell. It would ease my heart to know that you'll look to the defense of the North for as long as you're needed. With help from Farron, of course. For my part, you have my word on it. And I have no doubt your trustworthy kinsman and Andriel will stand by my side. Magovanen, well met and welcome to the safe haven of Imladris. 
My Gavannan, Lady Arwen. It is a great honor. The Dunedain are always welcome here. You have endured great danger and given us urgent warning of a new threat to the North. For this, we honor you, Eridan. It is my duty as a ranger, nothing more. I am glad to be of service to my Lord Aragorn. You show the modesty worthy of a hero. Estelle and my brothers have spoken highly of your courage at Fornost, and I thank you for your part in seeing to my brother's safe return. Please, take your ease and rest a while in our halls. You will find all your heart could desire, whether it be food, drink, song, or storytelling. I have an errand I must not forget. Here is an unfinished poem from Bilbo. He asks for your opinion and advice, saying the subject is very close to your heart. Then it must be about Estelle. He is fond of writing verses in honor of his good friend, and therefore often comes to me for advice. You may leave it with me, Eridan. I will give it some thought and answer him myself. Thank you, lady. Perhaps the time will come when I can enjoy these gentle arts, but that time is not today. Your father has tasked me with scouting the Etten Moors. Then I will not keep you, but we may be of service to one another. I am helping my father brew a potion known as Miravor. One sip of Miravor can renew heart and soul and bring new vigor to weary limbs. I am in short supply of certain rare ingredients that may be found in the Etten Moors. If I gave you a list of the ingredients, perhaps you could bring any you find while carrying out your mission. With enough ingredients, I will return the favor by brewing an extra flask that you may have for your own use. Gladly, Lady Arwen. That is a generous offer. Should I find what you require, I will return to you once my mission is complete. Continue the search, but be wary. More than one ranger has been lost in these wild lands.
Greetings, my friends. I could scarce believe what I saw from above. But elf, dwarf, and man battling the enemy together, such things are not often seen. I knew it had to be you. Bellarom, it is a strange coincidence that we should meet again so soon. I did not think to find you here in the Etonmores. Nor did I. It does seem a strange coincidence, but a happy one nonetheless. How is it that you happen to be here in the Etonmores? I serve as a scout for my people. We are at war with the stone giant Bagrasar, who has attacked us without cause. A stone giant? I thought such creatures existed only in children's stories. No, the stone giants certainly do exist, but they are seldom seen beyond the highest mountain vales. I was never told they were hostile to our kind, however. They seldom are. Eagles and the stone giants have shared the mountain heights without conflict for many generations. But this giant, Bagrasar, is different. Without provocation, he ambushed some of our people, taking them unaware and striking them down with hurled boulders. Many of our Ares he also destroyed, along with the defenseless fledglings who nested there. Gwaihir summoned his strength to punish the giant, but he fled before us. We believe he has come here to the Etten Moors, where he is gathering an army of orcs and trolls. Bagrasar is a threat to all. The sooner he is destroyed, the safer we shall be. A threat to the Eagles is a threat to us all. Let us join with you in the hunt for this giant. Your aid would be most welcome. Together we may be able to best him. Every hour he lives, his following grows greater. Let us press on!
prefer this light.
archers on the high ground. <laughs> Hidden Dunadine cache. Our way is barred. They have trapped us. I see movement in the trees.
can continue through that door. The smell alone tells me we have found a troll's lair.
I'm out. Need more time. has hidden some supplies here.
Ambush! It is finished! My people are avenged. And behold, here come your kin. My lord. It would appear that you have done our work for us, Belaram. Not I, Lord Gwaihir. Your thanks belong to these three. Andriel, Farin, and Aradan. It is they who rid us of Bagrasar. The same three that saved you at Fornost? Indeed. A remarkable chance that we should meet again. If chance it was, your fate seems strangely intertwined. But be that as it may, we are doubly grateful to you. First for saving the life of Belaram, and now for slaying the giant. We are glad your fallen kin have been avenged. Bagrasar was a threat to all free folk. It is only fitting we should join together to destroy him. Well spoken. But I wonder what purpose you had for coming to the Ettenmoors. This is no place for idle wandering. Elrond Half-Elven suspected the enemy might be gathering here. It was he who sent us to investigate. He also thought we might find a servant of the enemy here. A man by the name of Agendaur. Belaram has told us of that one, but I fear you have come too late. We have searched the Ettenmoors thoroughly in our hunt for Bargrazar, yet we have seen no sign of this servant of the Dark Lord. If he was here, we can be reasonably certain he is here no longer. My people will work to disperse the enemy forces that remain in the Moors. We will be on guard against the return of Agendaur.
Then we should return to Elrond at Imladris. He will be anxious for news, and we have already been long away. I will arrange for a messenger. My lord, I owe my life to these three. And I too believe Agandaur to be a grave threat to the free peoples of the north. Eagles no less so than any other. If you would grant me leave, I wish to accompany them and aid them in their quest. You ask a great deal, Belaram. I may have need for all my followers soon. Yet I perceive a great destiny awaits these three, and it seems you are now part of it. Very well. I will grant you permission to join with them for as long as you see fit. Unless Belaram plans to carry his friends like sheep in his talons, he will need help. If it pleases you, my lord, I will gladly accompany them as well. I too have a stake in this quest. Let me be the third. So be it. Three who cleave the air to match three who walk the earth. May fortune favor you all. Arminel, Baron Thor, you shall be at Belaram's command. Obey his word until such time as you return to us. Now I must depart. Many forces are at work across Middle-earth, and many events take shape. I must consider what part the Eagles will play in them. We are grateful for your aid, Lord Gwaihir, and your trust. Farewell. Return at last. We grew concerned for you. I fear you have missed your chance to say farewell to the members of the Fellowship, for they have departed. Clearly you found danger in the Etenmores, yet you have returned safely, and in the company of three of the Great Eagles, no less. There is a story behind this, and I am eager to hear it. We found trolls and orcs preparing for war, just as we feared and they were led by a renegade stone giant. He was attacking the eagles. With the help of the eagle Belarom, we were able to make an end of the giant. That was well done, but this is troubling. Why would a stone giant act in this manner? They have never been hostile to free folk before. We took these tokens from some of our fallen foes. That's Agandaur's black raven emblem, plain enough. Then we can be certain he is behind the giant's descent into evil. But there are also other tokens here I recognize. These are the marks of the orcs of Mount Gundabad, far to the north. Do you think it is possible Agandaur is there, at Gundabad? It may well be. From Mount Gundabad, the orcs have many tunnels and secret pathways connecting the hidden mines and orc holes of the Misty Mountains. The orcs can move along those routes in great numbers without being seen. If Agandaur is raising an army to fight for his master in the north, it is certain he will have traveled to Gundabad. The evidence you have uncovered confirms this to be so, yet we have no way of knowing if he is there still. Perhaps not, but we should not sit idle waiting for him to begin the war on his terms. At the very least, we might learn what the orcs are planning. To walk into such an orc-infested pit as Mount Gundabad would seem like folly. But you have proven your skill and daring many times over. And, too, you have the eagles to aid you. It may be that you will find a way to take the enemy by surprise. It is certain that, were you to destroy Agandaur, you would cut the heart from Sauron's plan to make war in the north. Then let us do just that. We travel to Mount Gundabad. Your courage is commendable, but be certain you are well prepared. Mount Gundabad will not be forgiving of the unwary. Farewell, and may the stars shine upon your path. Erdan, it is good to see you safely return to Imladris and seemingly untouched in battle. Such is the valor of the Dunedain. I am pleased to be back. 
I have brought you the items you requested from the Ettenmores. Thank you. You have brought these in good time, for we have made barely enough Miravor for present need, and now there is none to spare. With these supplies, I can replace what has been given away, and as I promised, I have kept aside a flask for you. Miravor is potent. Thus, I would advise you to keep this against a time when you are sorely hurt and your strength of will falters. Drink of it then, and you will be restored. Thank you, Lady Arwen. When such a time comes, I will remember your generosity. Is there something amiss, Lady Arwen? It would seem that something troubles you. Is there a way I may help? You have done much already, but I will lay my problem before you. For many years, I have worked secretly upon a banner for Estelle, for Aragorn. It is my hope he will bear it triumphantly into Gondor, when the time is right for him to reclaim his heritage. This must be a banner like no other, and must endure for the ages. To that end, I am using the most precious of metals, Mithril. Our most skilled smith, Angmir, has drawn Mithril into thread for me. The embroidery is nearly done. But as careful as I have been, I fear what I have may not be enough to complete the design. But Mithril can only be found in the mines of Moria, a distant and perilous place by all accounts. Unless you know of anywhere else we might find it. It is true. There is nowhere in Middle-earth where Mithril might still be mined other than Moria. Yet in ages past, quantities of this precious metal made their way by trade and gift to many other places in the world. Yes. If the stories are true, the guardsmen of the Citadel in distant Minas Tirith wear helms of Mithril. Still, it seems there is little hope that more Mithril can be found in so short a time. What exists in the world is likely considered too precious to part with. It seems my fate to travel far and frequently, and what cannot be obtained in peace may sometimes be seized as spoils of war. For the sake of my captain and future king, any Mithril I find shall be yours. That is a noble offer. I would not ask you to go into such danger for this alone, for it may yet prove that I already have all that I require. Still, it would ease my mind, and I would see that you were well rewarded for your courage and generosity. May Elbereth watch over you and keep you safe. soon, or this weather may prove more deadly than the orcs! Take heart! We are nearly there, and this snowfall will hide us from the eyes of the enemy below. Belram, look! Above the mountain! Set us down! We can attempt to find a way into the mountain under cover of this storm! There is little chance of that, with those creatures keeping watch from above. Once we land you, my comrades and I will draw off the beasts. Let's hope those flying beasts are too occupied with the eagles to notice us. We can hope their eyes are less keen. Just a few more orcs among the hordes of Grunebard.
something. Well, it can't be us. We've only just arrived, and they're heading that way. But what then are they looking for?
way is barred. itself. Another orc warband. What are they doing? Studying the ground? There must be something wrong. Look, there's a door. Someone was here before us. There was a fight here very recently. The bodies. They're dwarves. This one lives still. Well then, 
Come on, you scum. Finish it. You... You're not orcs. Why are you here? What were you attempting? We seek a weapon. We must find it, use it, stop the orcs. What is this weapon? Where can we find it? Dwarf weapon. In the stone. Nordry has the key. Find them. Help them. Please. Save Nordenbart. Your friends, where are they? Went on. Can't... can't say where. Now. Find them. They need help. Who or what is Nordenbart? He can't tell us anything more. He's gone. But there may be more like him within this fortress. Yes. They're searching for some sort of weapon. Come, we must try to find them. It pains me to leave fallen dwarves to these accursed orcs. But we have no choice. Signs. A ranger has left a hidden cache here.
in gear. This is the heart of the enemy's mission. We fought weapons and armor to the yeah. They're making more than that. Can't you smell it? The same blasting power used against us at Fornost. There must be a huge store of it here. Then let us destroy the gears. Perhaps we will slow their war mills.
More fallen dwarves. We must be close. This is it! Quick line! Up you go! Nordry! Nordry, there are too many orcs. We'll never hold them long enough! Maybe not, but we can try. Well then, come on, you filth! Baruch Kazar! Kazar We're here to help you! There's a mounted crossbow over there. Man the mounted crossbows! We'll hold them off! Keep them away from the weapon! At all costs! We might say exactly the same. What are you doing here? We've come to activate an ancient weapon. With luck, it'll kill a lot of orcs. What sort of weapon? You'll see. Once activated, it'll take some time to do its work. Aye, and it's sure to bring a lot more orcs down on us, too. No time for dilly-dallying. Go ahead and use it. We'll hold off the orcs. You're calling them here! I did warn you about that.
life as a weapon at all costs! <laughs> is coming down! Aye, a good deal of it anyway, just as we hoped. You knew this was going to happen? It's what we came here for. We had to strike this blow if our people are to survive. I am... I am heartily sorry for getting all of you killed as well. I don't think we need to worry about death just yet. Look! Darren's beard! This is a day I'll not soon forget. I've seen a few things in my time, but I've not flown on an eagle's back till today. Well, now that it's a bit easier to talk, let me thank you properly for saving our lives and bid you welcome to Norinbad, our home. Nordri's father, the Lord Gorin, will want to speak with you. Nordri's gone ahead to report on the Gundabad raid and to tell him about everything you did for us. We're grateful for the welcome, but in the rush of battle and our escape, I don't believe we actually caught your name. Oh, confound me for an old fool. Bruni, son of Bane, at your service and your families. I'm captain of the Nordenbad Guard and a servant of Lord Gorin. We would be pleased to speak with Lord Gorin. Just make your way past the door as you see yonder and you'll find him within. 
The guards have been instructed to let you pass. I suspect I'm the first man to see the inside of these halls. I am certain I am the first elf. Here, sire, are those I spoke of. Allow me to present to kinsmen, Farron of Erebor, and also Andriel and Eridan, his companions. We succeeded in our task, and I live to tell of it, thanks only to their aid. You are most welcome here, kinsmen. I no less so your companions, be they man, elf, or eagle. Welcome all to Nordenbad, last hall of the Longbeards in the Grey Mountains. You have returned to me, my son and my oldest friend, whom already I mourned as lost. For this, you will forever have my gratitude and the hospitality of these halls. Know that this is not something likely given, for never before have we allowed any but our own folk to pass these gates, and no eyes have gazed upon the hidden lake of Azanzaram, save those of our close kindred. Yet for what you have done, I will gladly lay aside our ancient oath of secrecy. We are glad to have been of service. All free folk should stand together in these dark days. May I ask how it was you happened to be in so unlikely a place as Mount Gundabad? One does not go lightly into so foul a pit. We were seeking a servant of the enemy, a man known as Agandar. Agandar? We are familiar with that one. Curse his black heart. He appeared before our gates some weeks past and called us to parley in the name of Sauron the Great, so he said. A parley? What did he ask of you? He demanded that we yield ourselves up to the mercy of Sauron, as if there was any mercy in the Dark Lord. He lays claim to Nordenbad, telling us if we turn over our halls and riches without a fight, our lives will be spared, and we will be free to seek a new home elsewhere. Of course, we would have nothing of that. When we defied him, he grew wrathful, threatening us with the fiery doom that overtook our ancestors. What could he want with Nordenbad? I do not mean to offend, but these halls are very remote. Is it wealth he seeks? Nay. Nordenbad provides for our needs, but never have we considered it rich, save in beauty. I fear he may have allied himself with the dragon Orgast, who dwells in these parts. With such a beast at his command, we would have little hope of resisting him. Perhaps the best course would be to destroy this dragon before Agandaur sends him against us. Well. Destroy Orgast? If only it were that simple. The attack on Gundabad would be a peaceful stroll around the lake in comparison. Nay, if it were so easy to slay dragons, there would be many more dwarves still dwelling in these mountains. Urgost has never taken notice of us before. We rather hoped it would stay that way. They say it does not pay to leave a live dragon out of your calculations if you live near one. And we cannot allow Agandar to gain such a powerful ally. Agreed. Where can we find Urgost? You do not lack for courage, I will grant you. Yet we know not where the dragon dwells. No dwarf has discovered his lair and lived to tell of it. Perhaps Radagast knows this secret, or can discover it. Seems there is little that happens in Wilderland that escapes his notice. Who is Radagast? Radagast the Brown. He is a wizard, a master of birds and beasts. He keeps to himself mostly, but he's a decent enough sort, as long as you mean no harm to the wild creatures he befriends. He dwells within the forest of Mirkwood, away to the south. Perhaps your companion Belaram would know where to find him, for it is said that Radagast is a friend to the Lord of Eagles himself. Much as I'd like to avoid Mirkwood, seems like it'd be worth our time to speak to this wizard. Indeed, but before you set out, Please accept a token of our gratitude. Seek out my steward, Galar. I have instructed him to open our vaults to you. I believe you may find something within that will be of service in the days ahead.
So you're the Donadine Ranger, eh? I can't see what all the fuss is about. I suppose you're tougher than you look, though I heard you had a dwarf helping you. Are you here to buy something? I'm an excellent stock of the best Northern Bud craft work, so speak up. Time's a wasted. Goran sent me to you. He said I should speak to you to receive a token of his gratitude. Yes, yes. He may have mentioned it to me. It was rather too generous of him. Not that I don't appreciate what you did, but how does he expect me to increase our wealth by giving our best work away? Well, here you go. Take your pick. of gold. All that glitters is not gold, but this is. My Govanan, Eridan. Have you news for me? I have news that should bring you great pleasure, Lady Arwen. It is enough simply to have your company. Come, what is this good news? I have been to Gundabad, and it is a terrible place. But from out of those dark halls, I have brought you this. Mithril. It is a joyous sight. It shines as though Elbereth herself had blessed this metal with the light of her stars. I cannot thank you enough for all that you have endured to bring this to me, the greatest of all gifts. But I will need only a fraction of this for the banner. The rest should be yours. Take it to the smith, Engmir. He has great skill in the working of true silver, so that it imparts special gifts of power and strength. I am certain he will be able to create something that will be of great benefit to you. And thank you again. Estelle's banner will be all I hoped because of you.
his head. No one can help him now. And no one can help you. Well done, my friends. That one will spread his veil of lies no more. Yet I fear this was no chance meeting. If Wolfram was here, it could mean trouble for Radagast. You should press on and find him. We will find him, but what about you? Are you hurt? The beast did its damage, but not enough to keep me from the air. I will be fully recovered soon enough. We will continue the search on foot. Should we look for you here once we have found him? No, I must find my companions. They are probably worried about me. Together, we will keep watch from above. Radagast has many friends among the birds of Mirkwood. If you find him, he can send a message to us easily enough. Very well. Good luck, Belaram. I don't like the look of this Mirkwood. I wish our path would have led us elsewhere. Why would Radagast choose to make his home in such a place? They say that Mirkwood was not always like this. It was fair enough before the shadow of the Dark Lord fell over it. That shadow lies here still. There are evil creatures in this world. Be on your guard. Look! There! Let's go. The warg that one hears is worse than the orc that one fears. True, but where the wolf howls, there also 
the orc prowls. My brother Ranger has left us some supplies. Be watchful. The wargs have given away our presence. They don't like us. Keep your eyes open. We need cover from their arrows! these things eggs. insect eggs maybe but so many and so large
Radagast's home. Enemy archers on the high ground! Must be rather gas home. It looks peaceful enough. 
Then what did the sorcerer mean when he said we were too late? Perhaps he was only trying to discourage us. These woods are thick with the uruk -hai. Must find him before the orcs do.
Enemy beware! Spider tracks leading deeper into the woods. It appears as if they were dragging something. I fear it could be Radagast, but whether he was living or dead, I cannot say.
on through this marsh. for defense. We are nearing the spider's lair. It's down there. I'm sure of it. The wizard! The wizard? 
No, no, my dears. That is food. He says the wizard must die. Take him and devour him, he commands. And so I shall, but not yet. Not yet. Let him hang a bit first. Let him await my pleasure. <sighs> but the wizard alone is barely a meal for one such as myself. Now four, four is a face. Let him down slowly now. He yet lives. Aye, and he's coming around. Ooh. Radagast, are you well? Oh, what a thoroughly unpleasant experience. I shall have more pity for flies in the future. Can you tell us what happened? Sinathra snatched me. Took me unawares, I'm afraid. I really didn't expect to encounter anything of her sort in this corner of the wood. No, not at all. You see, I came here to get away from trouble. Darkness is spreading across Mirkwood. A darker than usual darkness, I mean. And it's coming from Dol Guldur in the south. Roscobel, my usual home, lies a little too close to Dol Guldur for comfort. So I came here. I have several such retreats. You can never be too prepared, living in Mirkwood and all. But, uh, do I know you? No, Radagast, but you do know me. Ah, young Bellarum, it's a pleasure to see you. So you are a part of this little party too? <laughs> it's quite a mixed bag, really. I don't see elves, dwarves and men rubbing elbows often, especially not in Mirkwood. Now add an eagle as well. This is turning out to be a rather extraordinary day, really, all things considered. I am just glad we came in time. My friends and I have a mission, and we came seeking your aid. We're looking for the dragon Urgost, who lives in the Grey Mountains. And we have no time for a lengthy search. We were told you might be able to help us find him. You wish to find a dragon? Oh dear, is that really wise? Wise or not, that is our mission. Do you know where Urgos can be found? Well, he, he's a dragon, so I would say the Grey Mountains. I... yes, that is as we have already said. But do you know where in the Grey Mountains? I haven't the foggiest notion, really. What? So we've just been chasing the wind? 
Ah, now, not so fast. I may not know where Urgos dwells, but I just might be able to find out. But I would need my staff for that, and I, I seem to have mislaid it somewhere. We found your staff. Here it is. I knew you would have need of it once we found you. Ah, oh, excellent. Aren't you the clever one? <laughs> Crafty as a fox in your own fashion, too, I can tell. I'm grateful to you. Well then, let's see what we can find out, shall we? My friends might know a thing or two. news for me, little one? Ah. I see, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Very brave of you. Well done, my friend. And there you have it. Uh... Perhaps you could explain further for those of us who do not speak the language of swallows. Oh, you don't? Quite a pity, really. They're rather pleasant little fellows. Always something nice to say. Well, what did this one have to say? Quite a bit, actually. Here, let me show you. Have you considered my offer? You bargain with what you do not possess, man of the self. I will have your price soon enough. Think carefully before you spurn this offer, dragon. As mighty as you are, you would do well not to offend my master. I did not say I refused. Only that you must first achieve my reward before you can give it. Ah, formality. I go now to take your price, but I will leave men behind to await your answer. Consider well, but not too long. My time and my thoughts are my own to spend. For now. We are very close to the dragon's lair, and must now go more cautiously. If Orgost was to catch us airborne, he might lay us low with a single blast of dragonfire. It is best you proceed on foot, while we shadow you from above. Do you believe Urgost will be on guard against intruders? I hope it is not so, but the keen senses of dragons are legendary. I fear he will see, hear, or smell us long before we can come to grips with him. Still, if Agandar's minions are hereabouts, it may be that their presence will mask our own. I see the ruins of mighty works in the surrounding cliffs. What might they be? I can answer that. What you see are all that remains of the mansions of my kin, the Longbeards. Once, there was a mighty host of dwarves living in these mountains, before the dragons came from the northern wastes to plunder our homes. Ah, to have seen these realms in the days of their glory. <sighs> Seems we're always fated to lose the fruits of our labor. Are there other dangers in these mountains, apart from Urgost? There are orcs aplenty in the Grey Mountains. But do not forget that Agandar said he was leaving men to await the dragon's answer. 
we must be prepared to deal with them as well. No point in delaying any further. Let's press on as swiftly as we may. Let us hope dragons are less formidable than legend makes them. the Witch King long ago.
camp on a dragon's doorstep like this.
looks like another ranger has hidden some supplies here. Duna Dine Cash.
more time. Dwarf to spend so much time on the ground. Rise, my friend. We still have need of you. That was too close for comfort. You have my thanks. I am Eridan, a ranger of Eriador, and my companions and I have come to put an end to you. <laughs> you are bold, ranger. I will grant you that. But I have devoured many bold men in my time. You are just one more would-be hero. The battle may be hopeless, but we will fight to our last breath. I believe you would. Hmm. I might have a use for such reckless courage. Tell me, do you serve Agendaur? You know nothing of our kind if you believe that could be true. We are sworn to destroy Agendaur. Are you indeed? Maybe we can make a deal. A deal? What sort of deal? Agandar wishes me to join him in his conquest of the North. As a reward, he offers the realm of Nordenbard and all the wealth found there. This is not news to us. We know all about Agandar and his offer. What do you think brought us here? So, in spite of your brashness and bravado, I see you are not without a measure of resourcefulness. I do not know how you could have learned of Agendaur's offer, but it does not matter. Since you are so knowledgeable, perhaps you are also aware that I have no interest in Nordenbard. What is that dwarf infested bit to one such as I? No. I have my eyes set on a far greater prize. I want the ancient fortress of the Witch King himself. Gone, Doom. What's to prevent you from taking it? Agandor. He has taken control of Gone, Doom. From there, he plans his conquest of the North.
If you are so mighty, why not take Karn Doom from Agandawa yourself? Can it be that you fear him? <sighs> Do not try my patience, Ranger. I fear no man. But Agandawa is a servant of Sauron, and I have no wish to make an enemy of the Dark Lord. You, on the other hand, have already done so. If you would see me remain neutral in this war, destroy Agandawa and turn over Khan Doom to me. Very well, Dragon. Since Agandawa is the greater of two evils, we will accept your offer. Stay out of this war and Khan Doom will be yours. A wise choice. See that you don't disappoint me. And if you are truly concerned with the fate of Nordenbad, you might wish to return. Agandaur is moving against it even as we speak. They'll need our help! Let's go! Oh yes, by all means, hurry. <laughs> I wondered indeed what transpired within that cave, but if our friends are in danger, then questions must wait. I will call Armanel and Baranthor, and we will depart at once. I am pleased to see you here in Imladris once more. Is there something I can help you with? I have good news, Master Elrond. We have captured all of the scrolls we sought. You managed to gather all six of the remaining scrolls? You are truly a marvel, my friend. I will see to it that these are destroyed. You have done a great service to our cause by keeping these from the hands of the enemy. Such dedication is deserving of reward. I have selected a few relics of great age and power from among the treasures kept here in Imladris. They may serve you well. Take them with my thanks. We will bear them with honor. Thank you, Master Elrond. for another attack. I... I don't think we can hold off another one. No. Nor do I. Did you hear that, Bruni? Have I gone mad, or...? No, look! It's them, by thunder! Our eagle-riding friends! They've come back! Do you see, Bruni? They... Mighty glad I am to see you, but it may already be too late. I've only a handful left who can still fight. Then fall back to the upper chambers. Give us what support you can from there. And we will see what we can do against their siege machines. What? I... Your place is with your people, Nordry. Go. I... Luck to you all. Fall back! Back to the upper galleries! Fall back! Here they come! Do 
blast down the inner door. This stuff will yeah. you down! They send trolls against the gate! Come! We will drive them back! Berenthor, to the gate! Beware! Beware! Andriel, Farin, the gate!
battle. Nordenbard is saved. But at what cost? I'm at my end. It's good to be wrong. Bellarom! Tell me he's not gone. No, he lives. But he is sorely hurt. Can he be saved? I believe so, but his wounds are severe. He will need time and constant care if he is to recover. He'll have that. The best that we could give, I promise you. I'll take charge here. Go to my father and tell him what's happened. He'll send dwarves to help with Bellarab. Goran yet lives? That's some good news, at least. He was wounded in the fighting, but he's still on his feet. Hurry inside now and speak to him. Once again, we of Nordenbad are in your debt. Without your aid, we would not have held them. The enemy is defeated, but at very great cost. Our friend Belaram lies gravely injured. We must help him. I have already ordered my people to bear him into the hall. He will have the best care we can give, for it is certain we owe him our lives. But what of Urgost? You set out to deal with the dragon. Did you find him? Yes, but Agandar found him first. He promised the dragon Nordenbard. We offered him Agandar's stronghold instead, Karn Doom. Karn Doom? The ancient fortress of the Witch King of Angmar? Yes. We should have known Agandar would reoccupy that accursed place. If Orgos desires that black pit, he is welcome to it. But Agandar will need to be dealt with first. Yes, and so our path leads now to Karn Doom. Such a trek will be long and difficult, and the loss of the eagles means you will need to go on foot. So be it then. For the sake of all free folk, Agendauer must die. I can spare no warriors to send with you. The strength of Nordenbad is all but spent. Yet it would please me if you would take these. They are heirlooms of my house. The greatest works of my people passed down through long generations. Parting with them would be hard, but your fight is our fight, and so I give them freely. Choose what you will, and may it help avenge the fallen. Bellaram, can you hear me, my friend? Aradan, I am within walls of stone, and hear no sounds of battle. Then Nordenbad was saved. Aye, the enemy had enough and has fled away. How long have I been here like this? But a short while. Do not attempt to rise. You must save your strength. Where are Berenthor and Arminel? Our friends were among those who fell in battle. They died valiantly, and their sacrifice will not be forgotten by the folk of Nordenbad, nor by any of us. Your words are kind, and I thank you for them. But my friends are dead nonetheless. What is more, they died under my command. It is a heavy burden to bear. But what of Agandar? Was he too slain in battle, or does he yet live? Agandar did not lead the assault. He is likely still at Khan Doom. Then we must seek for him there. Arminel and Barenthal must be avenged. That is what we intend. We are already preparing for the long journey to Khan Doom. Then I must prepare as well. I cannot carry you all, but I... Ah! Ah! You must leave that to us now, Bellarum. We need to press on before Agandaur escapes us yet again. Yes. It is clear I cannot accompany you now. And if you delay, others may die. I will not be responsible for that. Go, with my blessing upon you, friends. The folk of Nordenbad have pledged to care for you as one of their own. 
Rest now, and recover your full strength. Farewell. Take my hand. You needn't be doing me any favors. The mountain I can't climb hasn't been built. Well, we won't be going back that way, I'm thinking. But you were correct, Eridan. There are no guards watching this route. Small wonder. We cannot count on it remaining unwatched for long. Come, let us find a way into this fortress. be lightly guarded. I hope you're right. It's hard to find.
I thought elves were meant to have long lives. I thought elves were meant to have long lives. Many thanks. Onward now. Still too weak for this. I could not remain in safety while you three risk your lives yet again. I wish to be a part of the final stroke against Agantar. The blood of my kin and the bonds of friendship demand as much. Bellarab, no. It would be certain death for you to continue on while so badly injured. I ask. No. I demand you leave while you still may. It is not my way to abandon friends in the face of danger. And much less so, great-hearted friends who beg me to leave them. Since you will not be persuaded, will you at least promise to hold back from the fight unless our need is very great? Nothing can be gained from throwing away your life without cause. It shall be as you say. Now let us go on. The enemy will be upon us if we delay any further.
I need your strength! No! No! How could you know that? It is true. I can feel it. Like a great weight has been lifted from my heart. I feel it too. He's done it. Frodo's really done it. The ring has been destroyed. Be that as it may, you must still honor your oath to me. Gone Doom is mine. We are true to our word, Dragon. You are welcome to it. Just see you mind your manners, old worm. And we'll have no quarrel. <sighs> Tis a long way home from here, for each of us. Let us make for Emlodris. You will find no better place to rest and recover. You have but to say the word, and we will press on. What say you, Farin? Should we go to Riverdale? A little rest sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> 